Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series, we'll be solving one very interesting hexic equation today for the values of x. So let's get started. As you can see, here we are having x minus 3. Here we are having 9 minus x square. So it is somewhere related to x minus 3 also. So first I will take minus outside. So I will write this equation as 243 x minus 3 whole power 4 minus because power is odd 3 so x square minus 9 whole cube now i will use one algebraic identity a square minus b square difference of two squares i will write a plus b times a minus b so here i can write x plus 3 x minus 3 and whole cube is there. This term would be as it is 243 x minus 3 whole power 4 minus equal to 0. Now you can see x minus 3 whole cube we can take common. So x minus 3 whole cube once I will take common out then I will be having 243 x minus 3 here and minus x plus 3 whole cube will be left here it is 3 equal to 0 okay now it is cubic equation again from product of these two equal to 0 so let me write that equation first then we will solve this cubic also so here i can write x minus 3 whole cube equal to 0 or this 243 x minus 3 minus x plus 3 whole cube equal to 0. So from first equation we can conclude x is equal to 3 with multiplicity 3. This is our 3 solution basically or this is our solution. Uh, now 3 solutions are left. Now I will consider this cubic equation. So I will give substitution here. So I will write let x plus 3 equal to t. So x minus 3 is also required. So take away 6 from both sides. So x minus 3 will become t minus 6. Now let's put over there. So 243 t minus 6 minus t cube equal to 0. This equation will be converted in this way. Now we have equation t cube. Let me write here separately. So I will write t cube minus 243t plus 1458 equal to 0. That cubic equation will give us this way. See t cube minus 243t plus 1458 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem. So you can find out the eligible factors plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and so on. But one important clue is 243 is 3 power 5. So it would be somewhere related with 3. So I will put t equal to 3. Is it true? 27 minus 2 times 443. So it would be near about 800. So it won't match. It is 1400. So let me consider the second multiple of 3. So that is 3 square. Let me put 9. So I will find out one base solution. Let me find out 243 times 9 plus 1458. Is this 0? So 9 cube is 729. 243 times 9. It is 2187 plus 1458. If I will add these two. So it is coming out minus 2187. It will be cancelled with 2187. So yes, this is true. That means t equal to 9 is our base solution. So we will consider synthetic division method. Once we know this is our base solution. Okay. Let me write all the coefficients of this cubic equation. So I will write 1. t square is nowhere. So 0 minus 243. And then I will write 1458. 
let me put over there one line leading coefficient as it is 1 now 9 times 1 9 I will write 9 9 times 9 81 then I will write minus 162 9 times minus 162 that would be minus 1458 now this cubic converts into quadratic in t t square plus 90 minus 162 equal to 0 let's apply quadratic formula so so far what we have solutions 3 3 3 or 3 with multiplicity 3 and t equal to 9 this is also our solution so in place of t equal to 9 t was x plus 3 our substitution 9 so x is equal to 6 so up to this point we have calculated four roots 3 with multiplicity 3 and 6 okay two solutions will come from this quadratic equation so let's solve this quadratic equation t square plus 90 minus 162 equal to 0 t equal to minus 9 minus b plus minus square root b square 81 4 times this one I will get plus 648 divided by 2a so 2 I can write minus 9 plus minus square root 729 over 2 now I know that square root 729 is it is 27 square actually 729 so I can write plus minus 27 over 2 once I will consider plus sign then I will write 27 minus 9 so 18 over 2 9 and minus sign then minus 36 over 2 minus 18 and remember t was our substitution that is x plus 3 so in that place I will write x plus 3 equal to 9 and minus 18 take away 3 from both sides so x is equal to 9 minus 3 6 minus 18 minus 3 minus 21 so here we are having total 6 solutions so let me write here 3 with multiplicity 3 6 with multiplicity 2 and minus 21 let me verify all the 3 values so I will put x is equal to 3 here suppose so let me write here verification x is equal to 3 what will happen see 243 times 0 power 4 plus 0 power 3 so it is 0 no need to check for 3 now come to 6 second value 6 and minus 21 let me consider x is equal to 6 so I will write 243 6 minus 3 so I will write 3 power 4 plus 6 is square so it will give us minus 27 39 minus 36 so minus 27 let me write here minus 27 q in next step I will write it is 3 power 5 times 3 power 4 minus this minus i will take outside so minus 27 q 27 is 3 q whole q i will apply exponent properties or formulas 5 plus 9 5 plus 4 is 9 minus 3 power 9 so 0 true this is also verified now come to our last verification for x is equal to minus 21 let me put all the values 243 x minus 3 so minus 21 minus 24 whole power 4 plus 9 minus x square so 9 minus 441 whole cube okay now it will become 243 24 power 4 is 331776 plus or better is to write minus sign at, at it will come out 3 4 32 whole q minus will be outside because power is odd once you will take the product of these two numbers it will be big number 8062156 8 
and this cube if you will calculate it will come out same 621568 so both value will cancelled out it will come out zero it is our rhs and this value is also verified okay so our final solution is 3 multiplicity 3 6 multiplicity 2 and minus 21 all six values for the given hexic equation i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck